in Linta Marina near Panama, where the rain just kept coming down. A little later on, I was relaxing below on my boat when a friend of mine, who happens to be a follower of mine on YouTube, uh, came along and told me that he'd heard a French boat was in trouble out at sea uh, with a couple and a young child on board. Uh, the two of us together were the guy from another boat took our ribs out to see what we could do. Some stuff in the water up ahead. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. The crew of the distress yacht were French and didn't speak much English, so it was a kind of a problem to figure out where they were. But eventually we found them. Uh, the yacht had hit a ship and had lost some of its rigging and the engine was out of use. Well, it looks like they're sailing. If we can get further in on the sail. Yeah. Well, I guess they would like to have some assistance when they're going for anchor. Hey! Well, Yeah, and then we just we just let it go in as long as possible, and we can help them when they want to put the anchor down. The yacht had been in trouble since the night before. After a collision with a ship and causing damage to the mast, the crew were now fatigued and very, very tired. After initial language problems, we now started to work together well. The plan was to take one rib tire alongside, with the other one nudging the uh, yacht into different directions around the reef and into the marina. Yeah, I can see the problem up here also. Yeah. What's that chain doing? I, I can't hear it, okay. Oh. Okay, well, soon soon you'll be stopped. Soon you're safe. Okay. We're actually safe already. We, we get a little close and then maybe we should take the sail down soon before we come into these boats. Yeah. And then we will tow you. Does he know the way? My colleagues and I were aware of the fact that we'd taken it upon ourselves uh, to help these people and were responsible for their well-being and the safety of the yacht. So it was with relief for us and especially for them having been at sea for 24 hours in pretty nasty conditions uh, and being frightened and cold that we brought them eventually alongside to safety. It's time to go again. I've just fueled up the boat here in the uh, uh, the dock, fuel dock in uh, Linton Bay. I'm ready to go. And just to prove that not all my uh, viewers are armchair uh, sailors, I've got one. One of my viewers here has got his own boat. It's bigger than mine. Yeah, sailing Viking. This is nice. Navigation station this is in the aft section fantastic look at the fridge if we go through here uh, there's a galley some potatoes ready to cook there must be a scandinavian uh, delicacy uh, just potatoes maybe a 
and through to here. I mean, this is just a huge, huge yacht. Oh my God, this cabin is absolutely enormous. And another small one on this side. Even here, this is this cabin's open to the, 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 the companionway, but, but wow, it's huge. And hatchway down into the fore section with yet another bunk. Makes a little shaddy back there look really small. Love this steering position here. You've got, a, you've got bars to protect you, sunroof to keep the sun off you. Then having filled up, it was time to leave Linton Marina. There you go, get my, get my uh, subscribers to do some work for me. Coming up on Moonrise, uh, James's boat. I hope he's aboard. I said I was going to be coming past. This will be the last time I see him, I think. Yeah, he's uh, not going through the canal. Um, so uh, here we go, look. Ahoy! <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got to be careful here. It's a bit black. It's, it's more windy out here than it is in there. Is it? Yeah, there's no wind at all. I'll bump, I'll bump into you somewhere, I don't know where. Yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you in, in, in maybe you are too. Yeah, okay. You you take care, mate. Thank you, Barry. All the best. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Oh, sad. He's my mate. Right, I've got to get out of here and get everything ready for the sea. Back again at sea as I leave Linton Marina and friends, a few that are still there, uh, having said, of course, goodbye to James, maybe for the last time. But he, he keeps turning up, which is great. It's always good to see him. Uh, I'll miss the fellow when he's not around. He's always been there. Um, and uh, we're out at sea and I'm feeling a bit yucky. It's a bit of a swell. It, the weather, the, we've had some really bad weather. And uh, I gotta say, uh, there's quite a bit of swell here, but uh, it's, it's not so bad, but there's more wind than I thought. The, uh, the nasty thing about this is I'm, I'm working on uh, electronic navigation here. Um, I'm uh, relying on a, a, a tablet, computer, and uh, an old Windows computer down below. It'll be it's fine. Uh, but yeah, we're going out through these rocks. I don't know if you can see that fellow over there, <laughs> and there's some over here. Bit, bit, uh, it concentrates the mind. Then I've got a good turn around there, and I'm off down that way to a place called Portobello. We've been there before by road. I showed you uh, this, uh, some forts and things down there. Uh, it's kind of a cool place when the weather's like this. Um, actually, the weather's... You might be worried a bit because the, there might be a bit rolly in there. The, the wind is actually coming uh, in a bad position for Portobello, but we'll give it a go. If not, I've got to go all the way to Colón, which will be my next port of call. Getting pretty close to where we want to be, Portobello. There seems to be an awful lot of current. I've got the revs high, but we've only been doing about three knots all the way here. The wind's just picked up now, and I'm hoping that it'll still be sheltered in there. I'm going around, there's a big rock over here. I'm going around. The charts do say you can get through, but then there's one chart by a guy called Bauerhaus who, uh, uh, went and, and, and charted and mapped this area extensively, fairly recently. And he shows us uh, a bit of a reef in the middle somewhere. So I'm, I'm not going to chance that, I'm going to go round. Interesting places. Another point, a bit of a historical fact that I'd forgotten to mention uh, before, is that the, uh, some would say explorer, and some would say pirata, pirate, depending where you come from, Sir Francis Drake. Uh, he ended up dying here uh, while he was pillaging, <laughs> uh, stealing off the Spanish who in return had already stolen off the Mayans and the Incas, um, taking the head coal back to Queen Elizabeth I. He died here and his crew buried him 
in a lead coffin just off the coast here somewhere so somewhere in this area very close to where I am now lies the remains of Sir Francis Drake in a lead coffin it was yeah you can sort of see why I'm not gonna go in between the land and the headland there I'm gonna turn a bit and go on the outside I think that's for safety but I'm gonna take us out a little bit to get a bit of uh, sea room away from the, uh, the on blowing wind uh, you can see it blown onto the reef what I'm worried about is the uh, the wind is blowing this way into uh, the bay where I'm going normally it comes the other way more sort of that away uh, and so the anchorage is fine but at the moment I think it's going to be uh, the, the wind is not too bad it's going to be very bumpy uh, and swell swelly in there well I hope I can find somewhere to hide in a corner I need to go ashore and get some supplies I had to get what they call a zapper before I left uh, Port Linton Marina uh, the authorities here just like to have your money and they, they just wanted another $12 off me I've already paid uh, two, about 250 bucks just to be in the country and I'm going to pay a damn sight more for the next thing that I'm about to do here uh, no, Panama is, to my mind, is probably the most expensive country to come to if you come here by boat. It is ridiculously expensive. After a rolly night at anchor in Portobello, I continued to Cologne. I wasn't expecting that. He came up on the side of me there. Um, I'm expecting traffic from over there in front because I'm heading into one of the most uh, densely populated ship-wise uh, ports in the world, one of the busiest ports in the world, uh, the port of Cologne, Cristobal Cologne, um, here in Panama. And the reason for that is because in the port at the end of it is the entrance to the Panama Canal and uh, all being well that's where I'm going to be going in a few days time Cristobal signal, Cristobal signal this is sailing boat white shadow sailing boat white shadow Good afternoon sir, uh, I'm an 11 meter sailing yacht, yacht uh, bound for the flats, uh, one mile east of the breakwater, do I have permission to enter? Yes sir, you can enter, please keep clear of the outbound traffic. Will do, okay, thank you sir, gracias. Right. Woo! Trying to find the entrance. You can see the entrance just in front of us, there's a couple of dark poles sticking up out of the uh, water managed to get shaddy uh, sailing under power with the wind vane uh, steering the boat quite well that's because the winds come up and the seas reasonably flat well, I say reasonably flat it's getting up a little bit there's 20 ships out here all waiting to go in uh, they're all going to use the Panama Canal I'm bound for a place called the flats which is an anchorage you can see just standing up I think somewhere about there and there is the entrance I've got to cross into that Bearing in mind there are big ships coming through it. There's an American yacht in front of me. Uh, he's just on his way in now. What a difference this is to the San Blas Islands. This is big ships, big industry, big everything. What I don't want to do is make a big mistake though. I can see another ship on his way out now and the boat in front of me is uh, on his way in. So uh, we've got to be careful. Next time on Adventures of an Old Sea Dog, a secret revealed. And I cannot go any further than this. This is the end of the Atlantic, so uh, I'm going to have to go and sail another ocean and that's why I'm here. I'm headed down there where the Panama Canal starts and comes out of the city of Panama in the Pacific. Wow, the secret's out on the new adventure. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, don't forget, if you'd like to support the channel, you can do by checking out my Patreon page. Uh, for real-time updates, check me out on Facebook. Find out uh, where I am at the moment and what I'm up to. All the links are below. And finally, please give us a thumbs up 
and don't forget to subscribe. As we leave Port Linton behind, as we leave, uh, as we leave Linton Marina behind, and uh, the few friends that I've got there, uh, including James, uh, and it's back at sea again as I leave. Uh, no hours. <laughs>